My name is uh, Ray Shalisky. The first time that I can really remember having any type of issues, I was with my parents and I was about 12 years old and I remember that my heart rate, something just didn't feel right. My heart rate was going very erratically and very fast. And I remember specifically telling my, my father and he, he looked at me and he said, you know, you only have to worry about it if it stops. You'd have to know my father to understand that quote. But that was the first time, and then um, it kind of came and went for many, many years. As I got into probably my 30s, I started noticing a little more regularity. You know, I wasn't exercising, I wasn't eating that well. And it, that's when I really started to notice it was coming and going more often, but it never really lasted for very long. And then, you know, recently, as I got older, um, it came on more, more often and lasted longer. I received my diagnosis two years ago. My heartbeat was 199 beats per minute. So at that point, it's not really beating, it's just quivering, and it's, I can't even explain how uncomfortable and scary that is. I'm Arash Ariana. I'm the medical director for the uh, Cardiac and Physiology Laboratory at Mercy General Hospital. Atrial fibrillation is the most common type of arrhythmia. It can cause a variety of complications, including stroke and heart failure. Everything was kind of controlled by my symptoms. I was scared to go too far from the, my house. I, I was too scared to exercise too vigorously because I was always afraid that something drastic or terrible was gonna happen. They tried medications and the medication uh, I took for close to a year and it never, it never really worked. The atrial fibrillation had been plaguing him through uh, various symptoms, including shortness of breath, fatigue, and low energy level. So we decided to switch uh, the treatment strategy to performing a PFA ablation, a pulse feed ablation procedure, to uh, definitively treat this problem for him. Pulse feed ablation is a new and revolutionary technology that uses high intensity pulse electric fields to treat or eliminate the cells that drive and cause atrial fibrillation in the heart. The major advantage of this type of uh, strategy or ablation is the fact that it's associated with increased safety, shorter procedure times, which means shorter time under anesthesia, and also improved recovery. This procedure has given me back a life that I forgot that I even had because it's been so long since I haven't suffered from any of these symptoms. The staff was uh, absolutely amazing. Um, Dr. Ariana was absolutely amazing. Recovery was fast and it was very much painless. I feel great now. Golf is definitely my happy place now because I feel comfortable out there. Um, I don't feel like anything bad is gonna happen anymore. I don't feel like I need to be close to the car or close to a telephone or close to a hospital. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely my happy place now. If I had known all these things, I, w I wouldn't have waited as long for sure. Don't be like me, don't wait. Ha, 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 ha.